Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing chapter 6, exercise 4, the anchor base. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do it on the top plane looking down. I'm going to draw this bottom piece, uh, not this curve. So I'm just going to do it as a rectangle and I'm going to add these two curves in right here. I'm going to put the holes in and I'm going to extrude it up uh, one inch. Then I'm going to go to the right face, uh, which is going to be this middle part here and I'm going to draw this part and then I'm going to extrude it mid plane um, it's one inch total so I'm going to extrude it uh, 0.5 inches on each side um, and then we're going to put the hole in and then we're going to do a fillet uh, on those two parts so I've got it pulled up right here so like I said we're going to start by building this piece here and then come from the side and build this piece with this hole in it and then lastly, we're going to come in and put the fillet there and there. So let's go on ahead and get our new part going. We're in inches and sketch and top plane looking down. So we're going to draw a center rectangle. And we can see that the width here is four inches and that the length here is three inches we can see a 0 0.75 inch fillet on the corners right here and right here and what you can do is if you don't have it uh, set up in a quick spot you can come up here to search commands and search for sketch sketch fillet right there and then click on it I have it mapped to right here and then you set your radius right here so it's 0 0.75 and then you can just click any corner that you want and it will automatically put in your fillets for you just draw these holes zero point seven five diameter 0.75 off the left and 1.5 off the bottom. And then I'm going to mirror this. So I'm going to grab a construction line right here. Just make a vertical line. And then we're going to come up here to mirror entities. We're going to click this circle to mirror and then mirror about this line. And it will automatically paste everything over from the right dimensions and relations and everything. All right, now we're ready to extrude it. We can come up here to extrude, and it is a one inch extrusion. And then now we can go to sketch, and then we see here are three principal planes. Uh, we're gonna click on this right plane, so this one that divides it in half right here. So we're gonna click on it and then click sketch, or you can left click right plane and click sketch from there, either or. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and we're going to draw this piece right here from the side. So we're going to start at this top left corner there, zoom out a little bit more, and then using that same quick arc tool by hovering back over the point, and then straight down to the bottom. Now we can start to dimension it. So we'll start with this radius. We know it's 1.5. We need to make these tangent with each other. So this one is already tangent. We need to make this one tangent. Now this point, the center is three inches off the bottom. And this bottom right hand point there to this left edge is five inches and the final thing to make this fully defined is you can see right here on the drawing that the center of this circle and this bottom point are in a vertical relation so we'll click both of these points and click vertical and then finally we'll get this center hole and its diameter 1.75 here we go now we can go to extrude boss base 
come over here and this is important. So we're going to go from the mid plane. So not blind like normal, but we're going to go mid plane. And then we see the total thickness is one inch. So we'll put one inch in right there and then we'll click this. Oops. We need to fully draw in the sketch. So it's missing this line that's coming up right here and this line going across. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to sketch and then we're going to come up here to convert entities and we're going to view it just like we were drawing it. And then we're going to click these top lines and this right hand line and then click the check mark. And that's going to bring those lines from our last drawing to our current sketch. So that now completely encloses this sketch. So now we can go back to extrude boss base, mid plane and one inch. And there we go. We have the um, extrusion part there and now we need to add these fillets right here so we can come up here to the fillet tool put in our one inch radius and click this vertical line come over to the other side and click this line and there we go that is the anchor base comment with any questions